what is going on y'all it's your boy Vil and we're back with another Mobile Legends video man now it's been a while man um, if you all don't know I did a little stream the other day where I told you all basically why I've been away for so long but I was in and out of the hospital for those of you wondering it was a lot of different things going on so I had to um, I had to take some time to recover it was like I went to the hospital like eight times maybe within the last month or month and a half so yeah, it's been really a really tough start to the year for me. So we're trying to get back in the swing of things. I'm feeling a lot better than I was before. Um, I'm still not 100%, but we're slowly getting there. So coming back, obviously, I haven't played Mobile Legends in a while, in a very, very long time. But I am trying to um, understand the meta, see what's going on. And from what I hear, there's three top teams in North America now. Like when I left, Gosu was really the only team. Now we have Zayn come, come, came back with B btk and then dave is out here going crazy as well so yeah we're gonna be watching this gameplay i'm gonna react to it try to see the meta understand the meta um and really understand what's going on also tell me any tips and stuff you all have down in the comment section below um and how the different elos are looking this season and stuff so um yeah let's just jump into it so starting out we have um btk they went with the rock pick um bruno selena and uh, yeah i played bruno bruno is actually op minotaur and Xborg. so um that's a pretty solid comp it looks like they're going with the double tank comp and cardi's actually nasty as well i thought cardi was a solo laner though i guess maybe he's he's like a flex player but um then we have um thomas versus low well thomas lolita granger um harith and hylos so it looks like it's the double tank meta. Is that a double tank meta right now? It, it seems like that's what people are going for. Then we got two OP marksmen. Then um, OP mages. I mean, and a fighter. So, so is that that seems to be the meta right now. That seems to be the meta. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Let's just jump straight into it, man. All right, so we're starting here. Um, this is from Zane's perspective. Oh, by the way, you, you all know these guys. Check out these guys' channels if you haven't already. Zane is a uh, mobile... He's a mobile... Um, player and he comes from like uh, arena of valor and he came back to the mobile legends community and he's actually been dominating trying hard and stuff like that and yeah he's coming back making a name similar to what um similar to what basic and hoon did so um yeah that's what's that's what's been going on i guess as i've been going zane has come back and actually been proving himself as a threat um, and shout out to these guys, man. That hard work, hard work definitely pays off. This is what these guys want. They want to be pros. They want to rebuild North America, and they seem to be doing a fantastic job at doing that. So, um, yeah, I mean, you can't really hate on that. Like, you got to give them props. Um, as far as who I think is probably going to win this game, I don't know. I feel like Gosu should have the most chemistry, but at the same time, I played against both teams and coming in my opinion at the time when i played against both of these guys i think that personally zane is probably zane's team probably has a more of an advantage here <clears throat> because i know zane is a lot more aggressive when it comes down to the marksman play um <clears throat> and he does he isn't 100 dependent on hiding behind his team he will push up aggressively and just go for everything Look at it, yeah, yeah. They finna get um Hoon. Yeah, Hoon got took out already. And he's finna get this kill. Another slide. Yep, double kill already. <laughs> Not surprised. So it's a lot of fighting going on early too. I don't know what all these different crabs and buffs and stuff are on the map now. I really have no idea what all this stuff is, so I definitely gotta learn that. Let me know what all these new crab and stuff crabs and things are all around the map. It's just so much stuff. There's so much new going on right now. And and what roles are supposed to take everything? Like, that's something that I got to know as well. I don't know who's supposed to take all this stuff laying around the map. Is it a specific role? Is it just free for all? Whoever gets it, gets it. Somebody just got caught out. Zane is doing some good farming here. Looks like he's going to defend mid lane. Yep, defending mid. Oh, they're invading. He's going to help with the invade. Oh, that's who that is. Ghost was going to get destroyed right here. Nah. Whole team's here. Five man team. Thomas is getting that bottom lane push, though. So that's good. 
Who is Thomas? Is that um Connery? I don't I actually don't I only know like two people on each team, I feel like. Maybe three on Gosu, because I have seen Connery. He was at the uh, other event. Yeah, that's Connery. Bro, that's dope how he just crawled from un out of the ground like that. <laughs> he just comes up and one shots him. Yeah, Bruno is actually sick right now. So it's four to five. It looks like it seems to be pretty even. They're, they're doing some nice trades. As far as towers, actually, Gosu might be a little bit aggressive on the towers right now. BTK hasn't really touched the tower. Okay, now they're they're gonna get one. Looks like they're gonna get this tower back. Oh snap! Oh, that's not good at all. Uh oh, is he gonna get this? Oh, I thought he might have had it. Minotaur alt wasn't quite ready. The rotation came from mid lane and nobody rotated. And um, yeah, they needed the rotation early warning or something. Probably the tank could have been positioned in those bushes and expected that to come. Honestly, so. Because with the amount of damage Bruno does to towers, there was no reason for the tank to be there hitting the tower anyway. Just my opinion, though. But <clears throat> let's see. Okay, um. Oh, so Cardi is Grog. Okay, that makes sense. I couldn't remember which tank was who at first. Like, I'm still trying to get used to looking at everything on the screen. It kind of looks different. The monsters and stuff looks different. Uh oh, get that alt right there. Yep, perfect. Oh yeah, there. That's this, this is gonna be a team wipe if they don't retreat. I don't know why General stepped up to fight that. That yeah. <laughs> is he gonna get a savage? He, that's a savage right there. That's crazy. I don't know why General dove into that. Like it was clear where the momentum was <laughs> was shifting right there during that fight. That was a retreat if I've ever seen one. But nice. BTK is actually nasty out here. I see him going crazy. Said my alt set that up. <laughs> Man's out here taking credit. <clears throat> Low key though, that's how it is though. Like, honestly, it, it's it's refreshing seeing gameplay like this because I know when I left, I, I rarely saw gameplay like this. These guys are roaming together. They're working together. They're setting up plays. They're playing off of each other. Like, this is gameplay like I have not seen in the Mobile Legends community before. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Teams don't play like this. Even, like, pro teams rarely play like this. <clears throat> like... In Mobile Legends, up until this point, I feel like it's been teams have been had they've been on the same team together, but they haven't necessarily been playing together. Like everybody was on the same team doing their own thing, type of thing. Or you had two people, people roaming in twos and stuff like this. Now you're seeing threes and fours roam. Um, then team fights, team engagements happening. You're seeing a lot more five v fives. I feel like four v fours and stuff. I mean, honestly, I like it. I like I like what I'm seeing for sure. Obviously, this will not be the same solo experience. <laughs> because 
even though like the top players and the level of the top players of the team of these teams are actually getting better it doesn't change the fact that the the average casual will not know all the information that they need to know to perform at a high level so when you're playing solo it's still just going to be random to be honest like you get the best mobile legends experience when you're playing um as a team i feel like it's just like it's like a completely different game honestly playing with five people um it's, it's a completely different game it's completely different mobile legends and i don't know why he stepped into that but okay buddy and they're pushing up without a tank well they got the other tank but <laughs> wasn't the best decision there Tower dive. <laughs> Connery almost got destroyed. Said general noob. Look at the look at the comment section in the bottom right. What the heck? <clears throat> Zane OP, general noob. Not full Gosu. <laughs> you got the people defending Gosu as usual. <laughs> But to be fair, it's not the full Gosu. <laughs> even still, though. <laughs> I mean, even if it was, I seriously doubt Gosu could beat Zane. I'm not going to lie to you. But then again, I haven't seen them play in a while. I haven't watched anybody else except, like, this is my first time seeing all of them play. But from what I remember, if they let them get a second Savage, I was going to say... From what I remember, though, yeah, um, Zane and and um, Cardi, Zane and Cardi, those two alone, I, I'm pretty sure was better than the majority of Gosu players. But Gosu's not bad. It's just yeah. Yeah, <laughs> change the title to "Who is the best ADC." Yo, that's dope. <laughs> this man is dropping numbers. <laughs> but notice how um, Zane's team has been um, initiating a lot of the fights and stuff for him. Like their rotations are very nice. I like the I like the rotations coming from these teams, um, especially Zane's. Zane's team is standing out. You see. Hilo's for the other team. He keeps face checking bushes, which to be fair, it's his job. But yeah, that keeps getting him killed. That keeps getting him very low before the fight even starts. I mean, they they need to think about doing something different than just coming in face checking and constantly getting destroyed. Because that's clearly not working. At the point where you've done that, like how many times this game and it hasn't worked a single one, you might want to let Lolita do the face checking or something I don't know like just switch it up <clears throat> you gotta adapt I think that that's one of the hardest things to do in Mobile Legends is, is adapt or maybe both tanks go in together and face check like <laughs> it's not likely that they're gonna take out both tanks just got taken and they just died and <laughs> bro this is a slaughter that's crazy he's dead oh my god Bruno that Bruno damage bro yeah honestly this is just they're outmatched right in their hair they're outclassed for sure This is a, <laughs> it was a good game for a little bit, but yeah, once Bruno got fed, yeah, it was raps. And I, I honestly haven't seen General be too aggressive, but I couldn't see from General's perspective. It could have been his front line, which is weak, which they don't have their full team. So the front line could have not been the best for sure. But honestly, that's breezy. The people on the front line, that's, that should be breezy. I don't know. They got their own tank with them. 
Yeah, it's weird. It looks like that's GG's right here, man. <clears throat> so, it's, it doesn't look like the meta is completely different. It does look like people, well, at least these teams, they know what they're doing way more than people did before. Even Gosu. Gosu didn't play as bad as they used to play, in my opinion. Um... <clears throat> So it looks like teams are definitely getting better, but BTK is actually really nice out here. Um, it's good seeing it in the Mobile Legends community, man, but that's pretty much it. We have the end of the gameplay here. Let me know what you all think about these teams. Who, who, Which one of these teams do you think is the best? Do you all still think Gosu is on top or is BTK coming up? Um, from what I've seen and my experience, like I said, I would definitely have to assume that BTK is the better team, but... Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, and then um, I know Dave's team is in the mix now as well. How good is he compared to these other teams? So, yeah, let me know everything in the comment section, man. I hope y'all have been doing well. Sorry I took so long off. It was unavoidable. Um, hopefully, we don't have another long break off again. But, yeah, um, thanks for coming through, watching the video, supporting as always. Make sure you all drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new for more Mobile Legends content. And I'm going to catch you all on the next one. Peace out, y'all. I don't know nobody, so don't ask for no favors Don't ask for no paper, they leave when you losing But they coming back later, promise they coming back later I'm up now, she wanna f***